Hey guys, welcome back to Dawn Rule 16. I am your host, Javon, and today we have a brand new benchmark. It's the amazing Spider-Man 2 for the PC. Today we're running on the Potato PC once again. Have mercy on my soul. We're running with the A4-3305 with the AMD HD6480G, the CPU that bottlenecks every game on the planet. So this is with two cores, two threads, it sucks, sucks, sucks. And as you can see, the CPU is already at 100% with an incredible bottleneck. The GPU is never fully utilized in most of these games. And I'm running at 800 by 600 on the lowest preset because that was the best I could do. Unfortunately for me, I can't actually go lower to 640 by 480 because my system uh, for some reason has a, gl a glitch where it doesn't let me do that. The actual display resolution can't go to 640 by 40 without mirroring like screens. And the other thing is that I'm using a capture card so there will be no audio. Sorry about that guys. So just enjoy some of the gameplay. Now as you can see the game is running. That's, that's all I got. It's running. That's all I wanted to say. The game's running. There's not much else to say. So I imagine when I start to get to my web slinging, it's gonna end badly. You, you wanna run? I also for some reason keep losing control. So these are inter incredibly bad ports. These always have been incredibly bad ports. This is no difference. Spider the Amazing Spider-Man 1 sucked. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 sucks. <laughs> Port wise, not great ports. That being said, it's running a lot better just walking around than I expected it to. When I get into some actual web swinging, boy, get ready. <laughs> You're all about to feel pain. <laughs> but once again, keep in mind, if you have a system similar, you still can go to 640 by 480 and lower. The only reason I can't is because I have an issue going anywhere below 800 by 600 for some reason or another. That's really weird, but that's a thing. It's a thing, guys. It's a thing. Can we get 30 FPS doing this? Hell no. Can we get 20? Hell no. Imagine when it's a CPU issue. If it was a GPU, I could probably do a lot more. Like I could tweak some things, but when it's a CPU issue to this extent, although for some reason it does feel like I am getting more frames. Not sure why that is. Two years later, you'll find them. That's right, Spidey go. Hey, Spidey, move that dude. Let's go. Seriously, I feel like I'm getting a lot more frames. Or is this going to disappear on me now? Holy crap. Oh, there we be. Ooh, ooh, um. Oof. Woof. Actually, no, this isn't. I feel like this is this is actually doing better than the Amazing Spider-Man did. How is that? Well, you know, I think that this was a lazier port. Yeah, this is definitely doing better. I wasn't getting this type of performance. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 actually runs on this damn thing. So that means you can probably get closer to 30 with 640 by 480. This is actually playable. Guys! Coming in clutch again. I remember this is the one where you gotta swing specifically to the building so that you can get the web swinging correctly. I remember this. I guess I, I was gonna end the video, but since you're making me check out crap, I guess I'll go do it. I mean, performance clearly can, can handle it. Let's get into the combat. And see what happens. Like it's running, man. Expect all this. Look at my GPU, dude. Like, look at that. Look at my GPU. Like, are you serious? It could do so much more. This is playable, guys. <laughs> 